And we're back. Boy, two weeks goes by really fast. But I'm recording this like the day after the other episode launched. But I bet it, it went by pretty fast. Anyways, I know I've been on and on about pathways. And we are going to get to the pathways. But I want to keep building things. Yeah, you know, buildings. As I'm accumulating things. And, you know, I've shown you my chest monster in my basement. I need to clean that up. And if you've noticed, I've got a lot of llamas. Look at all these llamas. They need a home. As well as my villagers. They also need a home. Let's get into it. My life's a mess, llama. If only there was a way to carry more things with me. What? Good grief. Llamas were introduced in September of 2016 for Minecraft 1.11, the exploration update. As you can see, you can easily mount them with a chest and given one of five strength levels. So as you can see, strength number one can hold three items, strength number two, six, and of course, as you know, strength number three, nine items. Uh, it took me a while, but I could not get strength four or five. Apparently, they have a rarity of about a 17% chance of spawning. Another interesting thing you can do with llamas is lay a carpet over top of them to give them a new little outfit that they get to parade around in. I'd also like to show you a really cool trick that I've learned from my friend, Tadpole Milk, who streams regularly on Twitch. If you have a mob like a llama or a cow in a boat, they're kind of in there. Most of the time, people put on their hip boxes and they whack the boat. But did you know that while a passive mob that's in a boat, if you just lead them, they come right out? Pretty neat, huh? No need to worry about breaking the boat. So let's get to building them a home. That one was fun to build. I had a lot of really good time building this one. Pretty simple, straightforward barn. But let's go take a quick look inside to see what we got going on. Just some simple little stalls. We'll uh, we'll add some hay bales over here to uh, give it some give it some lived in sort of features. And I've attached basically posts to uh, or fence you know fist posts to tie up the llamas to. I won't have to worry about fence gates to uh, trap them in there. 
And then we have a second floor for storage, of course. And uh, nothing up here just yet, but the chain to bring up, you know, hay bales or something like that, because hay bales are what we use to breed our llamas. Uh, hey, let's uh, let's get some hay bales and fill some of this stuff in. So yeah, a couple of hay bales. We'll put one down, you know, there and turn it this way. Yeah, let's give it some different look to it. Maybe they get stored over here. Yeah, like that. This guys really want some hay. So yeah, that's it. Just the simple stalls and uh, a couple of llamas. We're going to get tied up to each of the posts. So we don't have to worry about gates, letting them in and out. Just kind of reach in and grab them. All the llamas I have, I have a strength of three so far. Uh, hope to maybe find one that's a strength of four or five. Maybe I could breed one up. That would be pretty cool. Um, need to find out about these guys. Okay, give them some chest and see what kind of strength they have. Uh, so far, all of my llamas have come from <laughs> wandering traders, if you can't tell. Pretty fun, right? Sadly, this is where I'm going to wrap up this episode. Um, I came down with the COVID, of course. So I spent a lot of time off, and I wasn't recording. Uh, I did do some gathering, and as you can tell, I made a pathway. Pathway coming down to the barn, and it continues on down to the mine shaft. And now we just need to work a pathway over to the villager breeder. So that's been a lot of fun. Uh, so the pathway comes up, and let me do something about that tree. I actually like the way it looks, but it's actually just in the way constantly. And uh, these vines keep getting my, uh, my cows loose. My cows keep climbing out of the vines. Kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, so we need to take that tree out and figure out a way to connect it up here. You can see it's like almost like a straight shot. So we need to do some terraforming and connect them all together. And then, of course, transition from this style of path to the other more uh, dirt path that I have going on down that way. Yeah, so while I was out uh, with COVID, I did do some item collecting. So I have items collected for the next project, which is the library for the villagers. Yep, uh, so we got that going. We did a little terraforming. Uh, I've laid out where we're going to build it at, so you can see it here for yourself. Um, we just need to actually just do the build. But, uh, yeah. So things are looking good, at least getting the next episode started. And I'm leaving you guys off, but I want to get this episode out just so you guys uh, have something to watch. And I, you know, thank you so much for uh, watching this episode and supporting me. It means a lot. Uh, really sorry, I, you know, my episodes are scheduled to come down on Sunday, but again with COVID, um, I just couldn't make that deadline that I typically have. Um, couldn't get the second build done because of it, but uh, I, I'm okay with that. You know, that's that's part of real life, and real life gets a little bit in the way a little bit. Um, but I am still going strong. I'm healthy, and uh, I'm looking to get back into building this world. Incidentally, today that I'm recording this little outro is the day that 1.19 is released. So um, there's a lot of that I want to play with. I also want to mess around with MCA Selector to trim back some of the chunks that I have uh, I've exposed. And that's going to be pretty cool to mess around with. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I saw a video by Pixel Riffs. I saw a video by Waddles. I've seen a video by Farzy. If you follow any of those guys, go check out their videos on how to use the MCA selector. And that'll help you trim back your chunks for the 1.19 if you haven't done so already. All right. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Daddy Bones. Cheers. <laughs>